Hey guys, so over the past week we've gotten some really fantastic news especially for owners of older Model 3s. Now this also applies to older Model Ys as well so as long as it meets the minimum thresholds. So prior to the introduction of LFP batteries, Tesla stuck to the 2170 cells for all of their vehicle lineups. These are their nickel based batteries that are now primarily used for their high performance vehicles such as the Model 3 Performance. And of course there are some pros and cons to using the nickel based battery packs but the main differentiator between the LFPs and the nickel is going to be the degradation of the battery, the lifespan and the performance. On average, the LFP pack lasts roughly about 10 years whereas the nickel base lasts only 3. So if you do own a Tesla that does have LFP, you're ensured that your battery pack will last the entire lifespan of the car. And then with an added benefit of the charge limit with the LFP packs like being charged to 100% on a daily basis, whereas the nickel based battery like to be topped off up to 80% and those 100% charges will eventually degrade the battery's lifespan. This makes the LFP pack the perfect battery chemistry to put inside of commuter vehicles such as the base model 3 and base model Y where you don't have to worry about external charging factors such as the charge limit and also replacing it very often. On top of all this, in the benefits of Tesla as a company themselves, this is much cheaper to produce than the nickel based batteries so there is an added benefit for them over there and of course for us being that the vehicle can last a very long time. So because of all the benefits we have mentioned, moving into early 2020, they did exactly just that, they moved all the base model vehicles onto the LFP packs. Starting out with the made in China and sold in China vehicles, they started implementing the LFP packs inside of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. And then later in 2021, they expanded this to North America and now all Model 3 and Model Y base model with rear wheel drive is equipped with the newer LFP packs. Now on top of everything we talked about so far, there is better LFP technology being worked on as we speak. Tesla is currently working with external battery manufacturers such as BYD and Cathol to create and introduce newer better enhanced versions of the LFP packs. This will give you extended range and much better charging curbs. These will eventually make its way onto all of the Tesla lineup as the peak performance of these new LFP packs are now on par or even surpassing that of the Nickels. If you want to know more about these upgraded batteries and the LFP technology going inside of current and future Teslas, go check out my previous video. I will drop them in the description below there is a lot of information over there you guys want to know so now with practically all model 3s and model y's running on the lp packs for a few years now tesla has likely stopped production of the 2170 cells made for the standard range plus trims there could possibly still be some refurbished packs here and there but the likelihood of tesla making a separate production line simply for the 2170 cells on the base model are very slim to none this means that for those of you that need a battery replacement that are still under warranty as of right now, there is something very special in store. Under a newly introduced replacement program, Tesla is now offering brand new battery packs for older Model 3s that need a replacement under warranty. This means that if you are one of them, you are going to get a free battery and be swapped over to the newer technology. This is not simply just a battery replacement renewing the life of your car. This is going to be giving you brand new technology you never had had in your Model 3 when you first picked it up. Soon after you complete the replacement, you are going to see much more range on your vehicle and now you're going to see a charge limit up to 100% rather than the typical 80% that is indicated in your vehicle. Now for typical city commutes, this may not mean that much, but for long term drives and road trips, this is going to be a killer feature, being able to charge up to 100% every single day. This is the best selling feature of the LFP packs rather than the nickel base where you're limited by the life cycle and the range of the 80% charge. Now this isn't even it. On top of the free battery replacement, Tesla is also proactively changing all the components within your car, making it better than it already is. Of course, this is not them doing it out of the kindness of their own heart. There are some drawbacks to LFP which we 
haven't discussed and they are the reasons why these components within the car needs to be swapped out. The first one here being energy density. LFP batteries by nature are less dense than the nickel counterpart, meaning that for the same amount of energy, you are going to require much more cells. So to keep up with the range and counteract this, they had to add more cells to the vehicle, which now in turn makes the car heavier and slower than the nickel based cars. Now with the car being heavier, there are specific components in the car that cannot keep up with the weight. And this is where Tesla has to be swapping out all the different parts within the car, starting with the suspension. So included in this battery replacement program, they are going to be also swapping out your suspension, your dampers, and also give you a free wheel alignment as you complete every check. So really, no matter how you take it, you are going to be getting free upgrades to many components within your car. And being that the car is just a slight bit slower, it's not going to make such a big deal knowing that you can now charge your car to the maximum daily rate and all the additional benefits to having LFP. Now with this upgrade, there are some very specific requirements as well. Before any work is being done, they will ask you to sign off understanding all the measures and all the things being done to your vehicle. This will ensure that you as the customer will understand all the benefits and drawbacks of switching to the LFP pack once the process has been completed. So this is all great news and it seems as simple as just requesting a battery replacement, but that isn't exactly it. This isn't even available as a request for a purchase at this time and only available if your vehicle falls underneath a certain threshold and is still under warranty. So if you meet the requirements of your car being a Model 3 or Model Y built before 2021 with the 2170 cells and it has battery symptoms as of right now, and you are still under warranty, you can go ahead and book a service call for the battery replacement and they will offer you this LFP upgrade option. So yeah, I'm still really stoked to hear that they're even doing this and they still care about those older owners with older vehicles. I will continue to keep you guys as updated as possible. I'm sure within the next couple of weeks, we will hear a lot of people taking advantage of this offer and hopefully you guys also get to take advantage of it as well. Of course, I will continue to keep you posted on every single thing that comes up, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on x or twitter at hey john e over there you guys can dm me and chat with me and if you want to support the channel and keep it mainly ad free i will have a patreon link which i would drop in the description below over there you guys can get some pretty exclusive perks as well but this should wrap it up for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it this is john once again peace out